Hello friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here and in this tutorial we will see how we can write a program that prints the prime numbers between 0 to 100. To start off with the program, let's firstly open up a notepad. So message box, we will first greet the user with the message, welcome to the program. You can write anything here. Now. To start off, firstly we will start by initiating number 2, double quotation, and then we will start the loop with for i equals 1, 2, 2, 100, step 1. I'm going to explain you each of these steps as I complete writing the program here. So I can explain you clearly. J equals 2 to I minus 1. Here also step 1. Now we'll get inside here and we will give a condition here that is if I mod J equals 0 then it's not a prime number, right? For example, if our number was 4, and if 4 divided by 2, 4 is not a prime number. So obviously, the prime will be false, because 4 divided by 2 will be, the remainder will be 0. So it's not a prime number. So we'll just write else as false. I'll explain in detail about that. Exit 4. Else prime equals true and if we will put next and uh, if prime equals true str message will store str message ampersand i ampersand then we will store a comma as well and if and then we put a next a next here that's the closure for this loop so make sure you divide your program or you uh, write the program clean so we, you'll be able to debug the program if you make any kind of mistakes now we put next and finally we'll show the message to the user that is the first the uh, prime number series between 1 to 100 is Amberson as message box that's all now let's just let's just save this prime number series series between 1 to 100 dot VBS let's go back to the program Let's just try running it. So as you see, expected then line 14. Let's see how we can debug the program if we make any mistake. Line 14, right? So edit, go to line 14. If then, let's just save that. Come here and let's try the program. Welcome to the program. Line 18. Let's try line 18. Control G. 18. See what is missing here. Message box. No, no, no. It's not message box. Sorry. STR message. Now let's try running the program once again. Welcome to the program. And now it shows clearly what are the numbers. 2, 3, 5, 7, 11. Those are the numbers uh, which comes between 100, 1 and 100. Those are the prime numbers. Now let's see how the program actually worked. To understand any program, the easiest way is to go with step by step, line by line execution, how the program actually executes. So as we know, VBScript executes line by line. Let's go line by line. For i equals 2, 
to 100. So i value is 2 here, obviously. And then it gets inside j value is 2 to i minus 1, that is uh, 2 to, yeah, 2 minus 1, that is 1. So in this case, there will be only one iteration. So 2 mod 2, that is, equals 0. So prime will be false. So in this case, this is the only step that you need to, you need to forget about. Just, just keep this step aside. You would know why I'm skipping this step, because this is the reason why we have initiated 2 value here. Because this program works for all the numbers that is between 1 to 100 except for 2. Now let's, let's uh, try for 3. 3 to 100, step 1. So the value of i this time is 3. Now j value is 2. So 2 to i minus 1 is 3 minus 1 is 2. So 2 to 2. So this iteration inside for this loop happens only once. Now let's get back here inside and let's just see if i mod j that is 3 mod 2 equals 0. So 3 mod 2 as we know is actually 1. It's not 0. So the prime is it goes directly over here in the else statement because this is not correct. So as you have, as I've previously explained in my previous tutorial about how if else statement works, it if else statement actually has a condition here, and if that condition is not satisfied, it goes here and ex executes whatever is written there. So as i mod j is not zero here, it goes here and prime equals true. So then it comes here. It comes to this position as as there is only one iteration. Now it comes here. Now once we do for 4, you will be able to understand clearly what exactly is happening in this loop. Now this, this exits here and comes to this point. Now if prime equals true, as you know prime is actually e it's, it's a true value. So str message, str message equals str message, what is the value of str message? 2 comma. And i value is actually 3. So 2, 3 is being stored in str message. Now, it goes here and tries to exit the loop, but it is unable to exit because the exit condition for this loop, it has to iterate for 2 to 100. Now the value goes to 4. i value is 4, j value is 2 again. 4 and 2. But j value will iterate from 2 to 4 minus 1 is 3. 2 to 3. So this, this loop iterates for 2 and 3. Now let's just check it inside. If i mod j equals 0. Let's see. 4 mod 2 is actually, it is equal to 0. So prime equals false. Once prime equals false for one particular condition, it in fact exits the loop. Exits the for loop. So once this for loop is exited, it will exactly come to this particular point. Now at this point, if prime equals true, but prime is actually false. Now it tries to exit this loop as well, but it is unable to exit because our loop exit condition is not satisfied. Now we will go for 5. Let's see what happens with 5. The i value is 5 now, and j value is 2 again. So for i, 5, 2, 2, 5 minus 1, 4. So this iterates for 2, 3, and 4. In my previous explanation, I think I've missed to explain about 3, but the situation is the same. Now, 2, 3, and 4 iterate. Now let's just see. 5 is the apt condition to totally explain what is happening in our loop. Now let's focus just inside this particular for loop for 2, 3, and 4. Let's just consider for if i mod j, that is 5 mod 2 equals 0. 
it's not zero so it comes here it shows us it's a prime number but it's not complete we cannot just uh, say that it's a prime number by just checking with two we need to check it for three and four as well right now the program says that you cannot exit the loop without checking it for three and four now it comes back here and it checks for three so three goes inside here five mode three the remainder is not zero again it comes here it still says that it's a prime number now again the program says no you cannot go out unless and until you check for four as well and that's the final number you can check now again you come here and it checks for four now this time the value of j is four so five mode four again the remainder is not zero it's one so it comes here and it goes uh, it says that the prime number is true and again it tries to exit the program and the <coughs> the exit condition is actually satisfied it is from 2 to 4 that's 5 minus 1 4 so it checked for 4 as well now it comes back here <coughs> and it says that if prime equals true then so as you know that uh, for three numbers it satisfied the prime number case so 5 is being again stored here so our previous input was 2 and 3 now str message says 2 and 3 here and it also stores 5 the again it tries to exit the program but the program is not satisfying the exit condition I should have to explain this the whole day if I have to completely explain what happens here and how the number comes between 1 to 100 instead you can sit by yourself write the program as I've written here and try to execute it just try to debug it and if you're getting any error try to find out where exactly that line where the error is and try to debug it and uh, first perfect your program then you can just go on by line by line as our ruby script program does and find out as much as you can you just go through this this looping the f uh, the logic that i've explained to you how the loop exits so the main thing the main concept you need to understand in this program is how loop works and how in this the the complication is because there is an if else statement outside there is a for loop and outside of that there is another for loop and in between these two for loops there is another if statement and that if statement also is controlled by a condition here so it might be a little tricky but it's very easy if you just go through it for two three times so that's all about this uh, program i hope you enjoyed this and remember that this is a really good program to practice your uh, programming skill for ruby scripting and hence for macro programming in our upcoming tutorials so i hope you enjoyed thank you so much for watching and if you have any comments please comment below the video thank you so much for watching and stay tuned